How many times have you done it? Use the office copier for a personal document. You take the copy in the original and never give it another thought. Well, when we revealed a few weeks ago that the images are stored in the copier, we touched a nerve. More than two and a half million people watched or read our story online. Tonight, Chief Investigative Correspondent Armin Katayan has a follow-up. In our investigation into the dangers posed by digital copiers, we discovered nearly everyone built after 2002 stores on hard drives an image of documents copied, scanned, or emailed by the machine. I'm upset. Parents and students at Dos Palos High School found out the hard way recently. After CBS affiliate KOVR pulled hundreds of student names, home addresses, cell phone, and social security numbers off the hard drive of an old school copier. The fact that information that we treat very, very carefully somehow got out of our system and is out there is a huge concern to us. Massachusetts Congressman Ed Markey is of the same mind. Citing our report, he called for an investigation by the Federal Trade Commission. Concern most Americans don't know their information can be compromised. Very, very we have to do a lot more uh, to ensure that the public and corporations know this and that absolute security is applied to copying machines across our country. Our investigation, which aired last month, revealed how easy it is to buy used copiers. Tell us what we didn't even from. have to wait for the first one okay. to warm up. We've got some documents here on the glass. This machine came from the city of Buffalo, New York, police. Sex, sex, crimes. sex crimes division. Using software available free on the internet, our expert John Juntinen of Digital Copier Security downloaded thousands of documents in less than 12 hours. From the Buffalo Police Department, we found lists of domestic violence complaints and targets in a major drug raid. From a New York construction company, 95 pages of pay stubs with names, addresses, and social security numbers. And from this healthcare company, hundreds of pages of personal medical records. As a result of our story, Affinity Health was required to notify more than 400,000 people of a potential breach of their privacy. I think the copying machine industry has to step up, provide the leadership and the technology that ensures that this information is scrubbed uh, from copying machines. Now the Federal Trade Commission has jumped on board looking into ways to better protect the public from a simple office copier that we now know can leave behind a trail of digital secrets. Armin Katayan, CBS News, New York.